city in the desert where the people are coming. Anywhere else in the world, it takes 20 years to set up a functioning community. We did it in months. It is now coming to real life. The morning started with stones. But they move them around, they roll them around, they carry them around. And so in the end, um, well, they do basically what they want. And that's where we started building up the vision that they were building a city. We said, now we also will build a city. This is a beautiful example of how it should not be. We say refugees. Healing refugees or Syrian healing Syrians? Where on earth you have seen children of this age, um, 10 years, 12 years, stealing a police station? I do this job because I love to put smiles on people's faces. Have they had enough water? She was shot in the back. Yeah, so she's now paralyzed from the waist down. It's always tough when you see little kids in that sort of situation. Because what do they, what do they know about what's going on in Syria? They're just trying to survive. You don't stop me! This is the situation if we have four hundred per week. On the 14th of December, we'll have 3,000. That still leaves. 1,200. There's no the space there. They extend them. They, they say there's space for one phase. Taiwan and Kuwait, and not including these, we've got... We need an extra 2,200 caravans. So that means 2,194 caravans, which is 3.3 million. So unless we advocate for those, we're... Yeah, so but I mean this this is this is the key I mean it has to get out now. Okay, we'll come. Great. Thanks. Good. Everybody wants a caravan. Caravans are good because they protect you against the cold, they protect you against the rats. Yes, we have Norwegian rats in the camp, many. Going to kill them soon. They also give privacy. They also give the possibility to set up a real home away from home. Caravans still have legs. They're still walking. They have wheels, so they're rolling. We haven't seen motorized caravans yet. So that's still something we're missing here. Um, but still they're moving. They're moving again because people don't continue not to like the way of how we're putting them down. So they still put them into U-shape or something together with their brother and their relatives. So it really becomes a little courtyard. Where's the power coming from? I got Yeah, okay, I'm paying for it. The connections are going up. 73% are connected. 73% we checked it. The bills are still going up. That is my spaghetti wall. That's the spaghetti which connects everything to, uh, to our public lighting system. The kids remain the kids, the kids of Zatri. We all know them. Uh, they're still kids in stress, kids who need more attention. But we have over 12,000 kids attending school now. That means we have almost tripled the number of kids from before the summer now going to school. We didn't have the same big incidents where the police uh, would be chased away uh, or would have difficulties to, 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 have to resist 
to hundreds of kids trying to, to overtake a location, stealing police stations and other things, it, it, that has really subsided. <laughs> it's good because they now we're getting structures in place which don't need Killian or don't need an individual, they need the institution to deliver. And that is what is happening, and that's good. You are tired? Are, are you very tired? You coming with us? Yeah. <laughs> the whole way down?
Sometimes the orchard looks like it's tortured. Sometimes the garden feels like a maze. Just another day, flexible.